Hi, everyone. So here we are looking at the Temple of Portunus. Um, this is a small temple that is located on the banks of the Tiber River and was dedicated to the Roman river god, uh, the god of rivers and seaports, the god Portunus. And as you can see, it's in a fairly good state of preservation. Uh, and this is because it was converted uh, into a Christian church in the ninth century. Uh, this is a great example of Roman architecture because it displays their fascination and admiration for Greek art, but their own version of it, which is based, as you can see, on an Etruscan sensibility. Um, when we look at it, we can see that um, it is much different uh, than a Greek temple like the Parthenon in the sense that we see um, a ramp here, right, uh, that uh, brings you up to the building. Uh, this high podium uh, where we see the temple placed is based on the Etruscan plan, as well as that very clear facade that we can see there, uh, which is dominated by the four Ionic columns, of course, borrowing the order from the Greek. So what we're seeing here is a hybrid uh, between Greek and Etruscan. Interestingly, also, we can see that the Romans carry along this Ionic um, columns uh, becomes a, a colonnade here where the columns are attached onto the cella wall. They are no longer weight bearing, right, but are just decorative. This is why um, a temple like this is called pseudo preptoral because this is uh, exactly that, uh, not a preptoral temple. This is no real peristyle, right? It's a faux, fake one right? A pseudo one. And so that is what we see here uh, with these columns uh, creating uh, kind of a hybrid, if you will, between the Greek and the Roman. Uh, one of the aspects of this that is essentially Roman, neither Etruscan nor Greek, is that this temple is made out of tufa. Uh, and that is that local stone, um, that many of the tumulus of the Etruscans were built of. And here we see the Romans using it. And because they favored those beautiful white marble temples of the Greeks, they basically just stuccoed over the tufa uh, in a white material to just imitate the marble. Um, they had no qualms uh, about doing this. Uh, thus is the kind of um, eclectic nature of Roman architecture and also their great kind of ingenuity uh, at work.